Welcome everyone to another video and in this video we are going to be featuring some battles that I did on stream with another YouTuber's team. This is Human Catcher Bugs who is also qualified world. One of the best battlers in the world. Definitely check him out on YouTube. I'll be linking his video. Uh, he's very precise and technical in his analysis which is and very easy to understand at least from in my opinion. Uh, so definitely someone worth checking out. The team is Lickitung. Defense Deoxys and Metacham with the movesets listed out in his video. I have a screenshot here. Overall, I went 16 and 9 uh, with with the team. Uh, I went three positive sets and then two negative ones, which were two threes, probably more so. Uh, my fault, I'm going to be showing off the last two sets here. Just, just recapping them. Uh, just going to make sure that they're appropriate speed here. Uh, the lead here we have is... Lickitung versus Venusaur. Typically, they have Steel in the back, so I feel pretty comfortable in this matchup. I'm going to try to throw in the middle. They throw after eight uh, Vine Whips. And I'm going to do a few licks here, then basically throw right before I get to double Body Slam. I'm not going to throw the Body Slam right away because I know I lose CMP. So I am I, I am intending to shield because this Venusaur has a little bit too much health for me to deal with. So I'm going to farm up, throw right before they get to the next um, next Frenzy Plant, which is after five Vine Whips. And for some reason, the opponent doesn't throw. So, or it doesn't, I'm not sure what they were trying to do there. Maybe they thought I didn't have as much energy. So I ended up taking the uh, advantage there. And they end up no shielding, and I'm in a really good spot here because Noctowl is obviously a huge pain uh, for this team to deal with. So I go for the Thunderbolt. And once I connect with the Thunderbolt, so I, uh, Defense Deoxys actually wins the one shield versus uh, Noctowl. So I don't have to shield this. They end up throwing the Shadow Ball. And I'm going to throw the Thunderbolt, uh, which doesn't, doesn't KO, but it's going to put them low enough that it really doesn't matter too much here. They're going to have to throw here, otherwise I would counter them down, or we would simul KO. Either way, it's pretty okay for me. I'm going to be able to counter down before they reach a move here. And then this is a very straightforward matchup uh, after this. So they end up throwing the Icy Wind. I could switch out, but it really doesn't matter because uh, two Icy Winds doesn't KO. Uh, I guess if they... I don't. Even, I think it has Blizzard. Like if they threw a Blizzard at me later, then it probably would KO, but I'm in a very good spot. I am going to shield this move, though it's not necessary. Because, again, they only have enough energy for a drill run or icy win. And besides, I'd probably be able to lick them down beforehand. So I am double debuffed here, but I'm able to, to get the win. All right. So I, I do like this team. Uh, it does struggle against Ghost in the back. And honestly, Sableye is kind of annoying if they shield the Power Whip. So, And it always feels bad to try, try to bait the Sableye. Uh, so typically I don't, uh, obviously, unless the situation does arise. So this is a good lead for me, but all three of my Pokemon can't handle it. And they come into, uh, Gliscor. Gliscor is actually pretty tough for the team in the back because it does super effective damage to Medicham via wing attack and does super effective damage to defense Deoxys via Night Slash. I, I presume that they don't bait here in this situation, but they end up do baiting. Um, and then... I'm going to throw the Body Slam right before the Earthquake. But this I know this doesn't KO anyway, so it doesn't really matter too much. And I'm going to let this go. I do switch out to Defense Deoxys because I do think that perhaps is a Noctowl in the back. And I would like a counter advantage versus the Noctowl. But it ends up being an Umbreon. So this is why I talk about reading the player. So I notice here they throw on alignment. So they seem to like to throw right away. So I'm going to do one counter, then throw the Thunderbolt. They should be two Snarls to the next one because it's four Snarls, three Snarls, four Snarls alternates. So I'm going to see whether or not they like to... So they do like to throw right away when they get the move. So what I'm going to do here, I know they're four Snarls away. So I'm going to do four counters, throw the Thunderbolt, and then I'm going to do one counter and then switch to Lickitung, uh, which is when they have the next move available. And I should, in theory, catch the move which I do end up catching the move. Even if they don't throw, I'd likely be able to lick them down. Uh, anyways, obviously they could bank the move, but this turns out pretty good for me. And I come into uh, Metacham, and they come into Spark Lantern, which we saw in the lead. And this is enough for the Thunderbolt. I decided to let it go. 
They need, okay, they end up throwing a surf at me. I do end up baiting, um, hoping to see CMP tie on the double surf, but they, it looks like they're building up to the Thunderbolt, which makes sense. They end up calling the bait. Uh, this is another surf, right? Because I think they're one short of the Thunderbolt. Uh, something, or maybe they, yeah, they, they were, yeah, whatever the number was. So, anyways, I CMP tie and I'm trying to think about like how to play this. So, I decided to let this go mostly because I thought I was going to get sparked down. And so, here my play is I hope that they try to catch. And they do try to catch, and now my mat my matchup is very straightforward. I'm just gonna throw double psycho boost. Even the the debuff psycho boost will be enough to KO this lantern, and this is gonna be a good game there. So just anticipating that they were gonna catch um, worked out uh, pretty nicely for me there. And as well, like reading how the opponent likes to throw their charge moves. And then obviously they gave me two free counters, so which which really uh, which really added up uh, against the the Umbreon. I'm not sure what they were hoping to bait in the back with the uh, with the I'm not sure whatever whatever it was. So yeah. so typically I, how I like to play this, I like to try to catch the psychic onto defense the ox because usually they like to throw the psychic right away. So I wait count to eight, then I switch. And then catch on defense Deoxys. I do think that this time they threw the Ice Punch bait, uh, which is fine. And they come into Swamper. They do need to EQ um, in order to take me out. So I throw one before the Earthquake. And then they end up... And then they they, are, they do have to EQ. I am one lick off the, the Power Whip. Uh, so I do end up trying to bait, which they end up calling this bait, which is uh, just nice of them because uh, they did have some energy on Lickitung, uh, but maybe not that much energy, right? So I end up shielding because the Hydro Cannon would do quite a bit of damage. And I'm going to throw the Body Slam. I kind of frame drop there. So I end up doing two licks instead of the one that I wanted, but it's fine. I switch out, and they seem to be hesitant in this matchup. So I, I do end up shielding this Psychic. Not the most ideal situation. They end up coming to Dugong, and I throw a good timing. I throw the Psychic, and they actually end up trying to call it, and no shielding. I get the defense drop, which is really nasty, to be honest. That's, like, absolutely disgusting. To, to get the defense drop. And you see the Icy Wind does not do that much. And I'm going to be able to counter down. Certainly, if I didn't get the defense drop, this would have been a much more difficult uh, matchup. I think it's still possible for me to win, but maybe slightly more bait dependent. And I decide to switch out because I don't want to get countered down. Uh, not even countered down. I guess it doesn't really matter. I'm debuffed, so it makes sense for me to switch. They're going to have to throw a move anyways to take me out, and I would likely be able to counter down or get to the Ace Punch and take out the, the Menasham. So, again, I like this team. It does have some struggles in the back. It really struggles against Knocked Owl, especially Knocked Owl switching or uh, whichever, right? So, uh, complicated matchup here. Well, it's a good matchup, but... I do have to, I end up always calling this bait wrong. So I, I shield, the one time I did shield the first time, uh, they end up baiting with foul play. So, but I'm in a decent spot here. They end up shielding, which makes it really annoying. I'm going to let this go. Should just be a foul play, which it is. And I throw the power whip and we'll see if whether or not they want to shield this or not. And I'm able to lick down right beforehand. I do switch out right away into uh, um, Deoxys because I don't want to get bubbled down. And Deoxys is just a slightly safer switch. This is just a play rough. And I do one counter, then throw the Thunderbolt. So they're four bubbles off. I'm six counters off the next move. I think I end up... Uh, just throwing the Thunderbolt on alignment here, which is a little bit risky because they could have got an extra bubble through and they don't, they survive this. And I also, I also survive. So I let this go. Um, we're happy with getting the Thunderbolt off. 
and they come into uh, Spark Lantern. Unfortunately, I'm not able to get out in time, but my matchup here is relatively straightforward. I just need to throw, I just need to shield twice at some point in time and land two psychics. They end up throwing the Thunderbolts, which is a very nice play by them. I throw the psychic. It's not real. The only way they win here is they catch. They end up shielding, which makes sense. I shield. They throw the surf. And then all I have to do here is watch out for the catch. I shield again. And then I, all I have to do here is I go to the psychic and I see that they don't throw the spark. So then I'm just counting down the zoom roll and then I throw the psychic at this uh, lantern. So just waiting there and then uh, waiting for the spark or the zoom roll to come in. And I counter down the zoom roll because it's, it's just too low at that point in time. Surprised they didn't switch out to uh, to lantern versus my uh First, my defense Deoxys, because Azumar obviously resists the counter, but I'll take super effective Thunderbolt. Probably nets better. I don't know. It's hard to say. So this is a good matchup for the Lickitung. And uh, the opponent makes tries to make a really nice catch. And I, a little slow on the switch. I think I end up getting baited. Yeah, I do end up getting baited. It's not too big a deal. And I throw the Thunderbolt. They do end up, we end up playing this out in the two shield. These counters are adding up a decent amount. I don't expect them to bait anymore because they, they just strictly outpace me. I guess they would outpace me anyway. So um, I try to throw right before the Shadow Ball. And only if this matchup lasted a little bit longer, then I could have caught the Shadow Ball onto Lickitung. But that's okay. They end up throwing the Shadow Ball. I throw the Psycho Boost as late as possible. I come to Metacham. They're able to make it to the Sky Attack, which really sucks for me. But then they make, in my opinion, a slight air, and they come into the Ninetales. Maybe they're hoping that they could charm me down and they could save all the energy. But then I throw the Psychic. I switch out, I build up some energy, throw the body slam, and now I should be able to easily outpace this uh, the Swamper. The Swamper needs to land a Hydro Cannon and an Earthquake to take me out. And they're just not going to be able to make it. So if they make another Hydro, I would easily survive it. Well, not easily. That would survive for sure. I would be at like 10% health, but I was certain that I wasn't going to get KO'd. And that little bit extra farm there worked out really nice for me. I think if they came in Swamper and just Hydro Cannon, uh, took me out, then I would have had a, well, I guess I would just power whip the, the Swamper, but I guess they could farm up to double Hydro Cannon because I didn't have a move on Metacham or they could CMB tied me on the Ice Punch or something. And then, uh, then I, I almost certainly would have lost. I, sh I should have lost that game if my opponent played, um, absolutely perfectly, which obviously not everyone's going to play perfectly. Right. So, uh, so this is a complicated matchup. Uh, so the, I do we do get to the body slam and the poison fang at the same time. I know this is a poison fang. I'm gonna build up a little bit of energy and then throw the body slam. There's no real rush for me to throw. And I throw right before they get to the poison fang. And uh, now they're one over. And I do expect him to throw after this. So I switch out to defense Deoxys. And defense Deoxys takes the, the Poison Fang. But now I'm debuffed here, which which kind of sucks. So, And I could have threw the Psycho Boost, but then I'd be debuffed. So I decided to... Last time I no-shielded and I tried to counter down, we ended up simul-KOing. And then here comes Deoxys. Which is okay. I resist counter, but I am def two-stage defense drop. I thought about... Throwing the Psycho Boost, hoping on CMP, but I, I just remembered my Deoxys not, not that great uh, or not that high of attack. So they end up throwing here before I make it to the Psycho Boost, which is, which would have been really close if they could counter down there. They end up throwing the Psycho Boost, so I go to Metacham right away. I resist counter, and they throw another Psycho Boost, and now their attack is dropped as low as it can, and uh, I'm gonna. This counters are doing absolutely no damage to me. They end up throwing a Thunderbolt which is slightly more damage than Psycho Boost, but 
I'm in a really good spot. I'm going to look to counter it all the way down. They come into Bastidon. And I'm in a pretty good spot. I do end up trying to catch the flamethrower. And I do end up catching the flamethrower. I know shield. And I should have just thrown the body slam, but that's okay. Decided a little bit too late to do that. I end up shielding and um, I'm in a good spot here. They end up catching, which is really nice play. But here I was like, oh, I could just counter down this entire team. So I, sh I should just throw ice punches right away, to be honest, because it doesn't really matter here. But they make a nice catch there. I'm going to be able to counter down this uh, Needle Queen uh, regardless. So both Pokemon were, were pretty low in the back. So I'm actually kind of surprised that they stay. Obviously, that team was really weak to Swampert. Needle Queen lead and uh, Bastion on the back. I guess they probably just play play the matchup out and maybe try to catch a Hydro Cannon or something like that later because uh, it would be a pretty tough uh, tough matchup for them. Okay, playing against Ventuski, a very talented battler. And again, this is how I like to play it. Um, because normally they like to throw a psychic right away. Okay, I end up like lagging frame dropping there. Uh, I end up doing one extra counter there, but one counter on the switch in, but that's okay. They come into Galarian Stunfist, and I figured that they're weak to counter in the back. But I'm in a little bit of a tricky situation here. I throw this Psycho Boost just to stall out the clock. I do believe that they're not going to bait. So I shield this EQ, which might have been a mistake on my side, to be honest. And I shield this because I know the, the Earthquake does more than the Psychic. So I end up countering down. And they had a psychic bank beforehand. So I'm going to build up a little bit of energy here, then throw the ice punch. I was going to get outpaced. Uh, was I going to get outpaced there? I'm not sure. Maybe I missed, made a mistake here. I should just commit to the psychic. But I have a rank one Medi, so it'd be very unlikely. Yeah, yeah. I guess I would have CMP tied at best. So they ended up throwing the psychic. And they come into. Uh, Dunsparce. This is a very tricky matchup uh, for me. Throw the Body Slam. I am very loaded on the Deoxys. Maybe I could have switched here. I should have went Power Whip here. They were going to reach the move beforehand, but wasn't sure if I was going to survive the next draw run. I don't side the next draw run with, uh, but if I would land to the power whip, I probably could have countered down this, uh, this Dunsparce. <sighs> what I should have done here is maybe throw the Thunderbolt here. And I, <sighs> there's no way I could counter down this, this Metacham. Um, so they end up throwing, I should have just threw both Psycho Boosts, one, right away then i would take one less counter right one less counter and then i would have slightly more i don't know it was a very very close game there again a couple decisions i could have made differently like going for the power whip on the last one committing there or just switching out um getting more counter damage i don't know it's kind of a tricky uh tricky situation there All right, we have a lucky tongue into knockdown. Obviously, knockdown lead is tremendously difficult. So I come into uh, defense Deoxys. I think they end up baiting me here, uh, which is nice bait by them. They come into Spark Lantern. Uh, they need two moves to to KO me. Two Thunderbolts. Trying to stall at the clock. Um, 
here. They end up throwing the Surf, which is much better for me. So I throw the Psycho Boost, hoping to bank this energy for later. I'm going to let this go. I know I'll survive this. And I come straight into Lickitung. Just barely survive it. They will reach a Surf, which is fine for me. And they come back into Noctel. So they do have a potential sack for later. But as see, this is extremely problematic for me. I am going to build up some extra energy to throw off their accounts. Uh, so I do throw the Body Slam. I throw the next Body Slam right before the next Sky Attack. They already did one Sky Attack, so it's 6, 6, and 5 in terms of Wing Attacks. So I throw the Body Slam. I'm not sure where the opponent's there. I maybe they miscounted there because I did over farm. And I reach the body slam. And I switch out to defense Deoxys and use this banked psycho boost to grab the last shield. And I come back into Lickitung. And they come into Swampert. And I throw the body slam which is actually really helpful for me because it does allow me to counter down. I know shield this first one, really hoping that they EQ me so I can save the shield. They end up throwing the Hydro Cannon, so I will have to shield this this move here. And then I have to hope that I win CMP versus the Noctowl. It's basically my play. They are still locked in. So they actually come into Lantern, so I'm going to be able to counter down Lantern, and then I hope I win CMP. And I do end up win, winning CMP versus this Noctowl, so this must be a high rank Noctowl. Oh, or they lagged. Well, I guess one of the two, right? So it's conceivable that they also lagged out of that matchup there, which is uh, uh, cer certainly possible. Um, hopefully not the case. Yeah, so Noctowl, obviously really, really tough for this team in the switch in or in the lead. Both are very challenging situations here. And they come in Haxorus. And this one, I'm, I, this matchup I misplayed. Okay, they had, a, this was a very spicy iteration. Um, this is a Dragon Tail version. So if I was Dragon Tail, then I probably would have stayed. But uh, this ended up being much worse for me. They end up coming with Cresselia. Um, Yes, they come to Cresselia here, which is obviously really bad for me. I throw the Thunderbolt. I reach it right beforehand, but I am debuffed. Doesn't make too big a difference there. And I come look a tongue right away, because I know I'm weak to Cresselia in the back. The Body Slam doesn't KO. I, I do make a mistake here. I should just throw in the Body Slam at them, to be honest, because I really need to get rid of this... Uh, I should have stayed there, to be honest. I completely forgot I didn't have counter. Yeah, they made a nice job baiting me out. And I will counter them down. And these Dragon Tails do a tremendous amount of damage. But this is this is this matchup's game over here. This is just really just like a uh I'm just gonna fast forward here because you can just see like a three minute Bastidon beat down by them by me or by them onto me. So but anyways, we I think that was the just getting the bass on pretty low there, but I think that okay. I have one more battle here. I should just throw in the body slam at the Haxorus, but or throw in the body slam at the at the Cresselia probably would have been played for me, but the opponent played that really nicely there. All right, we have Lickitung into Lantern, so this is a good matchup for me. All three of my Pokemon can handle Lantern, they come into Noctowl, so obviously, very tricky situation. End up shielding. They am going straight for the Shadow Ball, which which makes sense too, because they're going to be able to outpace me. They get to move faster. The counters do slightly more damage than Wing Attack, but not... Well, this seems to be adding up quite a bit. That just shows you how broken counter is as a move. And I'm going to throw... Uh, right before the Sky Attack? Yeah, right before the Sky Attack. And unfortunately, if this matchup lasted just a little bit longer, I could catch on to uh, Lickitung, the Shadow Ball, which would be so nice, but unfortunately, I'm not able to. 
I decided to throw this as late as possible. Just not debuff my counters. I'm not going to be able to make another Thunderbolt. And I do end up having the Deoxys for, for later. And here comes uh, Ninetales. Throw the Psychic. They will have to throw. And I end up throwing on CMP with the, the Surf, hoping hoping that they that they uh, throw the Surf uh, there, so which they do end up, and then no. And I come into Lickitung. The one Power Whip doesn't KO at this health range, so I am going to farm up because I need energy for the Ninetales. The Ninetales, I'm not in range quite yet. Um throw right before the surf I try to catch there um, but uh, for some reason they don't throw the the weather ball I don't know why uh, but that worked out fine for me because I definitely was in surf and weather ball range they each do like 20% so and uh, I probably should have lost that game but overall Climbed 100 plus points uh, with this team. Thank you very much, Human Catcher Bug, for posting this team on YouTube. And uh, don't forget to check uh, that trainer out on YouTube. Really great uh, YouTuber. If you definitely want to learn, get better, someone that you should be watching. Anyways, I'm going to leave it there. If you like this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see everyone in the next video.